Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam sejahtera Salam satu Malaysia And a very good morning to all of you Yang berbahagia Dato' Dr. Syed Ahmad Hussein President of the ASEAN Quality Assurance Network Akan And Chief Executive Officer of the Malaysian Qualification Agency Yang bahagia Datuk Profesor Rujahan Mustafa Director General Department of Higher Education Malaysia Distinguished Keynote Speaker Professor Dr. Andrej Rauverger Secretary General of the Latvian Rectors Conference and member of the Bologna follow-up group Heads and delegates of quality assurance agencies higher education institutions and ministries from the ASEAN plus three member countries delegates of quality partners of the Malaysian qualification agency participant distinguished guests Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, please allow me to thank the ASEAN Quality Assurance Network, AKAN, and Malaysian Qualification Agency for inviting me to officiate the ASEAN Plus Three Forum on Quality Assurance in Higher Education. I take this opportunity to congratulate AKAN, MQA and all parties involved for making this forum possible. Indeed, it gives me great pleasure to be a part of this significant event with the team Building Regional Confidence towards harmonizing higher education of the ASEAN plus three countries, this forum is indeed a crucial initiative taken by the organizers to address the need for the ASEAN plus three community to venture, to venture on commonalities in quality assuring higher education with the main aim of building greater confidence of each other's higher education provisions, qualification, as well as system. May I also take this opportunity to welcome our keynote and distinguished speakers, honored guests, and all participants. I understand that participants attending this forum come from countries of East Asia region as well as our quality partners from New Zealand, Yemen, Namibia and the German Academic Exchange Service. On behalf of the Government of Malaysia and particularly the Ministry of Higher Education, I wish you Selamat Datang to Malaysia and I hope you will have a memorable stay in our country. This ASEAN Plus 3 Forum on Quality Assurance in Higher Education is an initiative undertaken by AKAN and MQA under the frame of the ASEAN Plus 3 Plan of Action on Education 2010 to 2017. The Plan of Action specifically identifies that there is a need to explore harmonization of higher education through quality assurance system. The emphasis of this plan of action is on integrating the confidence system of higher education in the East Asian region. This initiative is crucial to facilitate higher education cooperation and to increase connectivity between higher education providers of the ASEAN 
plus three countries. Ladies and gentlemen, the dynamics of higher education in the fast changing globalized world has created new stimuli and changing direction for all of us. These new directions and trends, including educational mobility, changes in instruction and learning, and above all, the utilization and growing dependency on technology, pose unprecedented challenges to the progression of higher education in any national setting. It is a challenge that none of us can confront completely on our own. These are challenges that we must deal with together in the true spirit of regional partnership. I foresee the huge potential of harmonization effort in creating regional integration and in addressing common educational concern. This will enable the East Asian community to leverage on the strength of regional intellectual resources and promote the regional community in the context of the fast-changing global higher education landscape. Certainly, the implementation of any harmonization initiative is not without tough challenges. The main test lies in the fact that the higher education system in the region are highly diverse with each operating within its own unique national, historical and cultural identities. It is understandable that every country wishes to safeguard its unique characteristics which have distinctly defined its identity and historical roots. To this, we must add the reality of the differences in the phases of higher education development in the region, including the way higher education is quality assured. On the other hand, the rich diversity itself is a resource for the region to leverage upon it upon in what it can offer to the world. To do this, we must address honestly and professionally the competing relationship between harmonization on the one hand and the territorial constraint on the other hand with the right attitude and workable strategies. Here is where the demand for cooperation, collaboration and co-creation is most needed. The way I see it, ladies and gentlemen, whether it be the uniqueness of each higher education system or the diversity that exists, we must place at the fore values, ideologies and cultures of learning that can benefit community. The challenge lies in ensuring that the outcome of higher education institutions run parallel with the changing milieu given a very fast-paced world that we are living in today. It is my belief that as a community that takes care of the confidence system of higher education in this region, we need to ensure a mechanism that will create more positive impact to not only benefit the local communities, but also across borders to international communities. This community we have here today in this hall needs to assume the responsibility of cultivating mutual benefit for all our stake stakeholders out there. We need to work towards ensuring 
that every aspect of higher education will be a significant platform that will provide felt impact to students as well as to societies. Harmonization in this diverse context must necessarily be time consuming. Unfortunately, we do not have the luxury of time. Nevertheless, we must bear in mind that this process must not be overly rushed. Let it also be reminded that harmonization is not and should not by all means be an attempt to standardize higher education. Neither is it an attempt to create uniformity and to achieve identical higher education system. I'm of the view that the primary focus of harmonization is to enable effective interoperability of various higher education system guided by the spirit of cooperation, mutuality, and respect for diversity. In order to achieve that, it is imperative that the various higher education system must be able to compromise, to exchange, and to be in integrated through shared values that are acceptable and agreeable to all. Ladies and gentlemen, in this context, and for the purpose of this forum, I believe that it is good for us to prioritize the need to build a confidence system for the region. This requires us to reflect deeply and contextually on the core principles of quality that we share in common and, how, and on how to collectively establish a unique, indigenous and integrated East, East Asian higher education system. The core quality principles, once agreed, must be flexible enough to be applied within the rich diversity of East Asian nations and their respective higher education environment. Reflecting on the Malaysian experience, our national quality infrastructure has been designed to address the value system of learning and the mechanism to assure it. We are addressing this through the implementation of the Malaysian Qualification Framework, or MQF, which enable us to integrate the various education and training sectors and promote learning as a lifelong end of all. The MQF profiles our higher education qualifications to the world and facilitates better connectivity with other qualification systems. It is supported by a national quality assurance scheme to strengthen the confidence, sentiment of local and international stakeholders. The quality assurance scheme has been designed in conformity with universal values of transparency, independent judgment, and peer-centered evaluation as practiced by advanced systems around the world. In this whole process, MQA underwent an invaluable experience in consulting, exchanging, learning, compromising, and adapting with its international friends as well as partners. In fact, MQA continues to undergo such an experience through the recently launched compatibility and comparability exercises with several of its international partners. Indeed, based on my own formal and informal conversation with my counterparts in the region, we certainly share the same conviction in constructing a common set of quality principles as a prerequisite for nurturing a regional confidence system. I'm sure the forum will intensively discuss the quality principles at national and regional levels as they offer a great opportunity 
to be the foundation for the integration of regional confidence system and facilitate higher education connectivity within the region and with the rest of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, I would like to congratulate the organizers again for, su for successfully organizing this interesting forum. I'm confident that all participants will have a successful and fruitful deliberation of minds. I look forward to your conclusion and to your continuous journey together in making this effort a reality. On behalf of the government of Malaysia, I can assure you of our full and continuous support. On that positive note, and in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, it now gives me great pleasure to declare open the ASEAN Plus 3 Forum on Quality Assurance in Higher Education.